Actually, originally I chose a career in the Marine Corps, and so I originally was commissioned as a Marine Corps officer, and I served for four years as a communications officer, and I fell in love with Marines and taking care of Marines, leading Marines, and sailors too, because we actually had a, a very large group of sailors at the unit I was at. And so when I changed my mind about career paths, uh, I was originally going towards the State Department and decided I wanted to do medicine. Um, I really just wanted to stay in the community that I loved and wanted to take care of Marines and sailors, so that led me to Navy Medicine specifically. I would say I chose the Navy before I officially chose a career in Navy Medicine, so I'd always wanted to be a pediatrician from you know, early on in childhood, and Navy was really a means of me being able to go to college and then on to medical school, so I feel very fortunate about that. To follow in the footsteps of my father, who's a retired captain, um, where he served 20 years as a developmental pediatrician in the military. Um, growing up in the military healthcare system, I just really admired all the doctors I saw, the um, camaraderie, the teamwork, and the family environment. Uh, so when I um, decided to go into medicine, I knew one, I uh, was interested in military medicine from my father and um, the Navy specifically as a result. I chose a career in family medicine because I wanted excellent training in full scope family medicine and the opportunity to work in austere environments both uh, within the country and internationally. Growing up, I got a lot of inspiration from my high school science teacher who not only just excelled in what she did and was a great educator, but brought a lot of passion and enthusiasm to what she did. I don't know that I can say I have one person that is really my woman idol. I feel like there are different aspects of different people. Um, the person that comes immediately to mind is um, RBG or Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and not necessarily that I had followed her um, in all of my adult life, but um, just really what she stands for in terms of speaking up for um, things that she finds really important and sticking to her passion, but she had an elegant way of um, getting along with people who had very different views than herself. So there are aspects like that of lots of women that I feel like I admire. Um, but to be honest, a lot of the people that I admire, the women that I admire, are just women that have impacted me all along my career. So, I mean, and even before that, obviously my mom, who is a working professional, so she um, gave me an example of what it looks like to be a good mom and to be able to work outside the house and fulfill herself in both those ways. And then, um, I don't know, a zillion mentors along the way that really just showed me that this was possible and that were there for me on hard days and those types of things. So I think that list is probably too long to repeat, but I can't say I have one woman heroine. I mean, I feel like there are lots of them. It's an amalgam of different women. The main woman who's inspired me growing up has been my mother. She um, is a nurse and who then sacrificed more of her career to raise myself and my four other siblings as my father um, was in the military and dealing with deployments and this or that. She uh, just is the most amazing woman. I don't know how she did it all um, with all five of us and she just always inspired me to seek every opportunity I could as a female. Yeah, that's a tricky one because it's a little bit esoteric, but actually I was always very inspired by Mother Teresa. Um, obviously not anything that anyone of normal uh, person could achieve, but I just found the way that she advocated for people that were suffering and put her whole self into serving her communities and the world at large was very inspiring. And so she was probably the biggest um, or a female specific uh, person that I look to um, for inspiration as a growing up and then even as a young adult. If I could give a piece of advice to women who are interested in medicine, it's to stick with it if you love it because people will have opinions if they think you can do it or not, but if you love it, keep on going. I would say um, follow your passions. Um, especially if you're doing it in the military, you know, you don't necessarily get to do things in a linear way. And so taking advantage of the things that you, know, you are encouraged to do, but maybe don't choose to do, um, but don't um, ignore what, you, what you're passionate about. So you can still continue to you know, fulfill your passions if you stay strong with that. I would also say that 
can't do it all and I think that that's sometimes something that's told to people that you can do everything and do it all well and it's really a fallacy and so just remembering that you have to make trade-off decisions and that it's okay to give less to something temporarily while you're giving more to something else and whether that's your children or your church or your career or um, you know your significant others is that you know your balance will change over time but don't you know, beat yourself up over not being able to do everything perfectly because it's, it's not reality. I would say to find the parts of it that you are passionate about as early as possible, but keep your mind open. What I mean is that in Navy medicine, there's a lot of different areas that you can get into, whether it's leadership, executive medicine, system-based medicine, whether it's very clinical medicine research, or if you want to teach, if you love being out on a ship or out with Marines, there's so many different things that you can do. And so to try them all, because you don't know what you're going to fall in love with and, and you don't know where your strengths as an individual are going to really mesh well. And so try them all and then figure out what you're most passionate about and drive in that direction uh, because there are all these amazing opportunities. You really can do something very different every couple of years and you can challenge yourself in new ways and I just think that that's super unique and so I would just say early on get at everything, do everything, um, expose yourself to everything and figure out what what helps you feel passionate and what helps you want to make wake up in the morning and come to work with enthusiasm and that's probably the best way to get. Never take no for an answer for one thing and that um, to pursue everything they're passionate about, seek opportunities when they face and you know there might be there's going to be a lot of ups and downs but to, to kind of ride the waves and have faith and if this is something they're interested in and passionate about then to to really go forward and to always give yourself grace and just remember how strong you are as an, an uh, as a woman.